Hello my fellow classmates, this is Kimberly V. Dado with Sofia Belalon and John Belanueva will tackle Abdella's 21 nursing problem theory. In this report, we will tackle the background of Faye Glenn Abdella, major concept and assumption of Abdella theory, the 21 nursing problems, application of Abdella theory in education, research, and practices, and the meta paradigm of the theory. Faye Glenn Abdallah is a celebrated nurse jurist, military nurse, and a leader in nursing research. She was born in March 13, 1919 in New York to a father of Algerian heritage and Scottish mother. She earned a nursing diploma from Fit King Memorial Hospital School. Now no she earned three degrees from Columbia University, which is Bachelor of Science degree in nursing in 1945, Master of Arts degree in Physiology in 1947, and degree in Doctor of Education in 1955. She is a pioneer nursing region who developed the 21 nursing problems. Her model of nursing was progressive for the time. She believed that nursing education should be based on research. She herself became among the first in her role as an educator to focus on theory and research. She was named as a living legend by American Academy of Nursing in 1994 and was included in the National Women of Hall of Fame in 2012. Did you know why Abdallah has become such a passionate nurse? Well, on May 6, 1937, the German hydrogen fuel airship exploded over Lake Hearst. Abdallah and her brother witnessed the explosion and destruction that killed many people. The incident became the turning point in Abdallah's life. It was the time when she realized that she would never again be powerless to assist what people were in so dying for assistance. It was that moment she vowed that she would learn nursing and become a professional nurse, and that became true. The assumption of Dallas 21 nursing problem theory related to change and anticipated changes that affect nursing. The need to appreciate the interconnectedness of social enterprises and social problems, the impact of problems such as poverty, restation, pollution, education, and so forth on health and health care. First, learn to know the patient. Second, sort out relevant and significant data. Third, make generalizations about available data in relation to similar nursing problems presented by other patients. Four, identify the therapeutic plan. And five, test generalization with the patient and make additional generalizations. She defined nursing as a service to individuals and family, therefore to society. Furthermore, she conceptualized nursing as an art and science that molds the attitude, intellectual competencies, and technical skills of individual nurses into desirability to help people sick or well cope with their health needs. She formulated 21 nursing problems based on review of nursing research studies. She used headers on 14 basic human needs in nursing research to establish the classification of nursing problems. 21 nursing problems guide comprehensive nursing care. Typology of 21 nursing problems first appeared in patient-centered approaches to nursing. Evolving to prepare for nursing research in the 21st century, the evolution of methodologies and challenges of Tel Levine, 1994. The 21 nursing problems referred to as the patient problems and patient outcomes. Abdallah's typology of 21 nursing problems. First, to maintain good hygiene and physical comfort. Two, to promote optimal activity, exercise, rest, sleep. Three, to promote safety through prevention of accident, injury, or other trauma, and through prevention of the spread of infection. Four, to maintain good body mechanics and prevent and correct deformities. Five, to facilitate the maintenance of a supply of oxygen to all body cells. Six, to facilitate the maintenance of nutrition for all body cells. And seven, to facilitate the maintenance of elimination. And eight, to facilitate the maintenance of fluid electrolyte balance. 9. To recognize the physiological responses of the body to the disease condition pathological, physiological, and compensatory. And 10. To facilitate the maintenance of regulatory mechanism and function. 11. To facilitate the maintenance of sensory function. 12. To identify and accept positive and negative expression, feelings, and reactions. 13. To identify and accept interrelatedness of emotion and organic illness. 14. To facilitate the maintenance of effective verbal and nonverbal communication. And 15. To promote the development of productive interpersonal relationships. 16. To facilitate progress toward achievement and personal spiritual goals. 
17 to create or maintain a therapeutic environment, 18 to facilitate awareness of self as an individual with varying physical, emotional, and developmental needs, 19 to accept the optimal possible goals in the light of limitation, physical, and emotional. 20. To use community resources and aid in resolving problems that arise from illness. 21. To understand the role of social problems influencing factor in the cause of illness. Moreover, the needs of patients are further divided into four categories, which is basic to all patients, sustainable care needs, remedial care needs, and restorative care needs. Application of Dallas Jury in Education Research and Practice. 1. In nursing education, Adele's crew emphasized the patient is the primary concern in nursing education from complex and general medical causes. Likewise, her most significant account was nurse-centered orientation that is used in determining the patient's needs. She also provides awareness in AIDS, drug addiction, violence, smoking, and alcoholism. 2. In nursing research, Adele's crew guide researchers to focus on the body of nursing knowledge itself. The identification of major problems, the organization of nursing interventions, the improvement of nursing education, and the structure of curriculum. Extensive research regarding patient needs are probably serve as foundation for development of nursing diagnosis. 3. In clinical practices, inspired from advanced jury's nurses applying clinical settings and community areas of problem-solving approach to help determine the patient's problem. In research input, Adela self actualized herself when was she able to play a role in establishing a foundation for nursing research as a sign, whereas her problem-solving method of her work was used in identifying the patient needs that will be sustained and will give them desired outcome. The Adela model to banishing social stigma and headlines among school students. The meta paradigm of Adela's 21 nursing problem theory. Nursing. She perceived nursing as a helping profession wherein the nursing care provide the person by means of service or assistance and information contributes to attaining the health needs either to increase or restore the self-help of ability or to relive from impairment. Person In Adela's tree, she refers to person as a people inhabit emotional, physical, and sociological needs. She then intended that individuals and families are the recipient of nursing care. Further, it was viewed that she regards the patient as the main purpose of nursing assistance as their health needs attainment is the mission of nursing service. Health Abdallah described the health, a condition in which the mind and the body is healthy and exude from illness. She also pertains to the health in the entirety of the health needs in discussing the nursing as a comprehensive service. Environment Adela refers to the environment of the home or community that the patient comes from. Moreover, she included society in planning for optimal health on local, state, national, and international level. With all that has been said, the individual is mainly focused on nursing services.